In this class, we'll look at how to merge a record in database table with the help of integration. Merge in the sense, if the record is already present in the database table, then it will try to update the record. Suppose if there is no record with that particular primary key, then it will try to insert. Suppose I'm sending a data with employee ID 7 and name and the salary details. With update operation, it won't update any record because that details or the record is not present in that case it will try to insert suppose i'm sending the data for samson m whose employee id is 3 since this is a primary key it will match all the records with the help of primary key if found then it will try to update the record if not it will insert a new record now let's go to integration instance and build an integration for this use case i will clone one of the integrations which we created in our previous class instead of select i'm going to name this as merge click on clone here I will edit this integration. Let me edit the wizard of database connection. Instead of run a SQL statement, we have to select perform an operation on a table. Here we have to go for insert or update that is merge operation. Click on next. Here we have to select the table. Since we have only one table in our database that is employee details, we have to toggle it into selected. Click on import tables. Click on next and done. Reset the layout. Here we have to put back the mapper. Click on map. Select the invocation. Click on select button. Select developer and XSLT mode. From the request, we have to map this employees ID to employee ID, name to name, and salary to salary. Click on validate. Now we have to map, modify the response mapper as well since our invocation is not returning any data back. So we'll delete this mapping from here. Click on validate. Click on close. Save the integration. We'll activate and run this integration. Now in the body, what I will try to do is I will update details for Samson whose employee ID is 3. Now let me copy the details. Name is Samson, employee ID is 3 and salary will be incremented by $100. Now I will try to insert or upsert we can say an employee whose employee ID is 7 here. Now I will add 7. Name will be Snan. And salary will be 25,000. Now what will happen is it will try to insert a new record with employee ID 7. Employee name is Usman and salary is 25,000. Now I will hit on this test button. It's a success over here. Let us verify from database. I'm running this query. Yeah, as you can see details for Samson got updated. That is it has incremented the salary of Samson by $100. Also, it has created or inserted a new record in this table for an employee whose name is Usman and the salary is 25,000. Like this, we can insert or update any existing record with the help of merge operation in integration.